Simscape Driveline helps you rapidly develop control systems and test the system level of performance of machines. This video highlights the key steps to make Simscape Driveline models run efficiently during design parameter sweeping and hardware in the loop testing. We will focus on a power split hybrid electric vehicle model. My name is Jossie Kluger and I'm an engineer on the Simscape Libraries team. In this video, we will describe the power split hybrid electric vehicle model. We will walk through a parameter sweep to investigate how varying the battery size and final reduction gear ratio affect the vehicle electrical efficiency. And we will demonstrate how the model runs on a real-time target machine in a hardware in the loop test. This power split hybrid electric vehicle model consists of simplified abstract parameterizations for a high voltage battery, DC-DC converter, power split drive unit, longitudinal vehicle, and driver and environment. These components are organized as instances of separate subsystem reference files. The subsystem references interact with each other via physical connections and Simscape buses, which are bundles of multiple physical connections. The power split drive unit divides the engine power between motor generator 1, which charges the battery, and motor generator 2, which drives the vehicle axle. For the parameter sweep, we specify all varied parameters as runtime configurable. This allows us to skip recompiling the model when we change the parameter values, so it speeds up the parameter sweep. Here, we set the vehicle mass to runtime configurable. The parameter sweep varies this vehicle mass as it varies the battery capacity. Our final step before running the parameter sweep is to make sure the model is in rapid accelerator mode. This generates an executable of the model. We will now execute the parsim command to begin running the simulations in parallel. Now six instances of Simulink are starting up on my computer. I will speed up the video as the 24 simulations run. Each run took about 20 seconds to simulate the 41 minute drive cycle scenario. This is a speed up factor greater than 120. Here is a plot of the parameter sweep results. We see that a final reduction gear ratio of about 0.3 optimizes the electrical efficiency, while smaller battery capacities are slightly more efficient. We will now set the gear ratio to 0.3 and set the battery nominal capacity to 0.5 kilowatt hours and configure the model for hardware in the loop simulation. We have now remoted into a computer connected to a real-time target. The Simulink model uses a fixed step solver with a step size of one hundredth of a second. We set Simscape to use the robust partitioning solver. We have downloaded this model onto the real-time target. We have already begun running this model on the target. Here, Simulation Data Inspector shows the logged responses. The task execution time profiler shows that this model only needs half a percent of the simulation step size. This leaves plenty of time for other tasks. In this video, we looked at a power split hybrid electric vehicle model configured for component analysis and performance estimation. The model uses abstract parameterizations to simulate efficiently. On top of that, we use runtime parameters and the rapid accelerator mode to run parameter sweep simulations over 100 times faster than real time. The robust partitioning solver enables the model to consume only half a percent of the simulation step size in a hardware in the loop system. This leaves plenty of time for other tasks. In summary, this workflow in Simscape Driveline enables rapid design exploration and validation. Thank you for watching.